Hello, so today we're going to change a demo install of Plan 9 Second Edition into a full install. What I discovered uh, in the process of doing this is there's a few gotchas for getting the CD-ROM to be recognized and getting the copy to work. In the case of what I'll be doing right now, I have in my VirtualBox settings uh, the a floppy controller setup and an IDE controller setup and on the hard disk you want that as your IDE primary master and on your CD you want it as your IDE secondary master uh, I'm using VirtualBox for this because it's the only one I've gotten this to work in QEMU has been a little flaky for me uh, but if you know the settings uh, to make this work in QEMU let me know I'll be more than happy to add instructions for QEMU or uh, make a video for that. So it's basically the same settings as in the demo install video. Uh, in the, this case I have DOS 6.0 installed. I think it has a one gigabyte partition. Uh, it doesn't really matter. The installer for the CD-ROM will let you know if you have enough space. And I don't recommend free DOS. I haven't tried it again but when I did earlier it didn't like it uh, so as long as you have the two that are the second edition ISO and a DOS install and a demo install as per the previous video you should be good to go so I'll walk through what's required for that real quick and once we have this all configured we'll start up the VM and give it just a moment here It's being a little slow for me, I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, so what will happen is, is if you run this how it is now with plan 9 backslash b, you should get a demo install. Yep, and you should recognize this, and it takes us here. Uh, so what we'll need to do is we're going to insert the disk one floppy. Uh, it's the same one you use for your regular install. Make sure you have your uh, CD in. We'll restart the machine. See, it's loading in the disk one here. Go through the dialog just like we did before. And we're going to do file system installation here rather than reconfigure. Uh, do note that for the reconfigure, if you haven't, well, we'll go through it anyways. So you will need to set up the ADA ID controller on secondary, that's port OX170, and IRQ15. That's how my VBox is set up, that's how I've gotten this to work so far and just go through the rest of this and we'll do file system installation again all right now we'll take out disk one floppy and restart give this a moment all right start plan nine Let it think about it a bit. And here we go, it's the dialog we're familiar with. Instead of doing one to install the demo, we're new two to install the CD-ROM. Give it a hard drive. I'm gonna say overwrite. Just press enter. ITB ADA, and this, this is the good stuff. This is our CD drive. And if you have it set up correctly and you've configured the system, this is what you'll see. We'll just hit enter. And then it'll copy, and this will take not very long. Uh, much longer than the demo, but not very long still. <coughs> if you get a hang on the CD install, I would recommend either... Well, what I did is for a while I was getting the CD-ROM hanging on install. I was copying files, and then it would just stop. 
I, what I did is I installed DOS 6.0, and I just did that from floppies that I had lying around. Um, after wiping the disk and reformatting the DOS partition, I made it one gigabyte, uh, and it just worked. Uh, the installer will tell you if you don't have enough space, and if you don't, you'll need to go either through DOS or something else. I partitioned my disk just through a 9 front live CD and uh, DOS will yell at you if it doesn't have enough space and the installer for the CD-ROM will yell at you if you don't have enough space for that. But uh, once this finishes copying, we'll have a full second edition install. It, ha it comes with everything, it comes with documentation, it comes with source, it comes with binaries. Uh, the one thing it doesn't come with is the C++ source. Uh, but you can get that through the sources contrib there one of the people there or maybe it's even in sources extra has the C++ source for plan 9 and I think just the original Unix source is in there too yeah, I mean you just sit tight watch the self copy does come with ALF ALF is there does come with eight and a half does come with LaTeX comes with all your lovely text sources In theory, it's capable of networking. There is a Plan 9 second edition FAQ. I'll put a link in the description for that. And I found it very handy for getting a few things set up. It does have instructions, for example, for setting up higher VGA resolutions. It seems to be a little tricky in virtual machines. I haven't quite gotten it working yet, uh, as it asks you to dump part of the BIOS memory. And when I did that, it uh, just gave me garbage. There's supposed to be some kind of string in there, and I just didn't have that. Not that that's very surprising. Yeah. And you do just start this the same as you do the demo. You just do plan 9 backslash b. It'll just load up the full install. Here we go. And we'll just do make the newly installed plan to default. <laughs> I don't know why it uh, really asks us to do that since every time I've done that, I haven't really. Uh, well, when you did that on the demo, you got a keyboard error if my memory serves. I'm starting with this. Yeah, so we need to load in disk one just like we did with the demo load in the disk one floppy image, reset the machine, and reconfigure it, and set it to an active Plan 9 installation. Reconfigure, and you just go through, configure this to your heart's content. Remember to use monochrome. Card doesn't really matter. Uh, the IDE thing might be nice. You might be able to get to the CD from the Plan 9 install. an active plan 9 system. Take disk 1 out. Drops us to DOS. This DOS version is uh, DOS 2.2x actually. But how I originally set up the full install was through 6.0. Uh, so something to note about the CD installation, <laughs> the user none doesn't actually exist. It's a mistake in the CD distribution. So you have to use the Tor user. Uh, blank password is fine, or any password. And here we go. We're at plan nine, second edition. It's the full install. If you want to add the user, um, I think it's a slit slash sys slash lib slash kfs user user. I think it's, I think you give it like a none. No. You just give it none. There we go. And then we do disk slash kfs cmd user, I think. 
Yep. <laughs> now I have a user KFS. And that the disk slash KFS CMD user forces uh, KFS to reread the user file, though, or the ADM slash users file, though it would do that anyways on reboot, I believe. Yeah, now you have a fully featured second edition system. So you can do game slash smiley, for example. No, oh, didn't do anything this time. That's fine. And do game slash fireworks. <laughs> Quit that. It, of course, has Acme. It does, uh, the, the full install does finally, I wonder if it, yeah, it does finally have manuals. There's a few other goodies. I can slash lib. Um, we have namespace, we have VGA DB, and this is what defines the different resolutions for your screen. We get an assist source, there's everything, it doesn't have the, uh, or, it doesn't have the C++ source. You could look at the PC kernel source. That's pretty much everything. Um, same way to stop the full install as the demo, you just do KFS CMD halt. And it halts. And you just reset the machine. And it will take you back to DOS. But that's about it. You have a full second edition install going. Good luck getting your setup.